Verge is doing. They, yeah, they did it on the Verge. Yeah. The best part, though, was being up here. Right. And, um... Uh, I'm going to go with, gosh, I don't know. Sex is better than Facebook. I think that's good. It's time for Twit This Week in Tech, and we've got a panelist of experts to talk about the week's happenings and the week ahead, which might be equally important. Let's start uh, with my good friend Andy Inotko, uh, our regular host on Mac Break Weekly and a host of a fantastic show called Inotko's Almanac on 5x5.tv. Hey, Andy. Hey there, Leo. What a wonderful day for being in Petaluma or Boston this weekend. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful day here, actually. It's kind of mm. warm. He also writes, sometimes for sun times. <laughs> the Chicago several Sun times, Times. Several times. <laughs> See, if, there, if there's, the, first of all, the, the, as, as newspapers go, the Chicago Sun Times is in very, very good financial footing. But if there's another extra little way, reason why they're never going to drop their seven day a week schedule, they know that every single headline will be, oh, now it's the Chicago sometimes. Ooh. As they drop to five times a week. Like, <laughs> they oh, can't do it. Can't really do it. go there. <laughs> Also, on his yearly visit to Twit, Jeff Kanata is uh, here. We talk to him every week, every year after E3. We got to yeah. do this more often. Jeff Kanata, of course, the host of the Totally Rad Show on uh, Revision 3, and uh, just a great guy all around. Nice to have you back, Jeff. Thank you very much, Leo. It's great to be here. So, uh, there really are, there's, you know, two big things in, you know, to talk about this week. One is E3, which wrapped up this week, and the other is tomorrow's Worldwide Developers Conference, Apple has a big show, in fact, their last big show. Um, they, they only do one a year now. And uh, all the rumors in indicate that there are going to be some big-time announcements. All righty. So if uh, anybody wants pictures, we can uh, do that. I'll post for pictures. I'm going to go get the hats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, all right, Frazier, nice to see you again. That's quite all right. I'm going to here. We got the hats. <laughs> and the, the thing is, originally uh, the whole world was basically uh, uh, having these this, uh, dots. You were having lots of many right, people in, right. in the United States. You have 114 friends. Yeah. Wow. And the thing is, uh, I started out with just one group, but then I hit the limit. Uh, you, you oh, that's interesting. I didn't even know there was a limit. There is 50 people you can have. 50? So I ended up with five groups now. There are two for America, one for South America, one for Europe. <laughs> and basically, the thing that's cool here is... But they're all coming, right? Colorado and yeah. Germany, late, yeah. late ones. And now, actually, can we rotate this a yeah. bit quicker? You, you can see how all the developers... Oh, that is so it's, cool. It's more like a, a statistical sample. Yeah. Of Some people are <laughs> staying down there, but most people are in San Francisco. Wow, quite a few people. And That's you know, awesome. You actually see them kind of flock in the area of Moscone Yeah, Center. yeah, they're all around Moscone. That is great. And the things... Uh, and you did that on Twitter. The, the uh, people down here are actually... There's a couple uh, that they left. There was a pilgrimage to Cupertino. Oh, they went mm -hmm. down. Yeah, Homestead Road. That's uh, Want, Cupertino, yeah. So most likely they're in a, in a bus here now. Oh, yeah, you can see them moving, actually. Some like, yeah, there he is. He's moving. That's so funny. But the cool thing is now that you basically have, like... Tonight, they'll all be there. Like... Mm -hmm. That is really cool. That is really cool. How fun. What a good idea before you came here. It's a bit so you said, tweet me if you're going to be in uh, Tweet me your Apple ID. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And also tell me your mm -hmm. continent. <laughs> oh, that's great. And then I edit them. That's really great. Yeah. It's a bit of work. But I, I figure it's kind of a neat experiment to see these, all of these dots converge onto just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. What fun. Huh? What fun. Typical geek, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's um, the back. You, you choose which mounts you want, though, right? You have to buy the mount you want. You have, well, I bought a couple of kits. Right. I the auto kit. The auto kit. And they have them underwater? <laughs> Yeah, because you can, um, uh, like the plastic encasement, uh, it, uh, case, it uh, has a back you can replace, either make it waterproof or not. Ah, so. ah, so it is already kind of waterproof. Yeah. Ah. And so this one's, a, this one's a video as well. You've got uh, uh, the back you can uh, change. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are ones that are open, mm -hmm. uh, which you are supposed to be using under 100 miles per hour. And uh, the closed ones, 
plus points. And you have one with a video back for a preview. Okay. Which you can take away if you don't need that. I don't need that, and I'll and save you battery, yeah. For yeah. example, there's a helmet mount. You yeah, can yeah. get multiple. That I'm familiar points. with, yeah. I mean, okay. we saw them at. Uh, 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 NAB, but I just I didn't realize it was waterproof kind of out of the box. That's cool. What's your name? Oliver. Oliver, where are you from? I'm Austria. A, I'm a developer. I'm I go by the name Coconetics on Twitter and oh, good. website coconetics.com. Coconetics. I blog technical articles mostly to iOS developers. In German or English? In English. Oh good. Oh awesome. Am I C O C O N E T I X? Cocoa. Cocoa. Netics. Cocoa is of course the programming framework for uh, yeah. OS ten. Cool. Cocoa Perfect. Cool. I'll check it out. You should do that. Too. Yeah, I will. I'm a big fan. Absolutely. Nice to meet you, Oliver. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for thanks for visiting. And I do a podcast. You do, but what's the podcast? Coco on the Coconetics. Coconetics, yeah. Also for the notes. Well, you know, I we got to do a developer podcast at some point. I have to. I actually it made out. you a button. Yeah. But you never responded. No. <laughs> I'm a bad man. Um, yeah, at some point we will, and I will keep you in mind. I think that um, the problem is there's all kinds of developers. You know, there's everything from Visual Basic to C to Ruby to I don't even I really don't know what to. Uh, well, how about an iOS podcast? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're doing an, an iPhone podcast, and we do an iPad. Well, you podcast. can do to make an iOS. It's really similar to the web developer piece, and I think you have the audience for that. So you think if we were going to pick one thing that that would be the because you can't do like general programming, but if we focused on iOS, that would be a good pick. Uh, definitely, that would be one thing. I think that's uh, interesting. Obviously, yeah. there's also Android, but uh, I would start with iOS. And Android would, would be about Java, which would make it more practical in some respects. iOS would be about Objective C, but it is iOS after after all. You make more money on iOS anyway, so and it's more yeah. fun. Yeah. Job is easier. It's a tough one to think to know. I mean, that's the problem. That's why we haven't done a programming podcast. It's actually what I think what killed the gaming podcast, which is there's too many kinds of gamers, and you can't get all of them, right? Yeah. And I think it's the same thing with programmers. There's too many kinds of programmers, and if you're a C programmer, you're not going to you know be interested in a root. Well, maybe you would be. I don't know. I have to think well, about it. Just look look at uh, this other network there, uh, five by five. There yeah, yeah. Have. Like the children analyze. Right. That's totally iOS. And the thing is, I don't ever it's, all it's, the thing is, it's all about design, right? No, no, no. It's it's, it's a personality based show around right. Marco. Right. So you can either Marco's to, very interesting. So you can either be centered around certain characters. Right. Or you can do something that's more technical. Right. But well, we always said uh, what we try to do is a little of both, which is have real quality personalities doing the show, you can still try to stay technical if you can. So I'd like to do both. And that's actually the biggest challenge. Because there's lots of people who do who could do a programming show. Um, I don't know, I have to really think about it. I do want to do it. What I, one thing I was thinking of doing, and we were going to do this with Randall, is um, a, kind of like a learn to program podcast, where like uh, you know you start from scratch and you teach people how to program. Who's going to teach me small talk? <laughs> Which I thought would be kind of interesting. Or maybe do a Lisp show. I'll do a Lisp show. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll bring them in. Bring, bring Fortran. <laughs> Fortran. <laughs> All right, anyway, nice to meet you, Oliver. I'll check it out. Coconetics, that's cool. Dinner and an API. We could do an API show. That'd be kind of interesting. What, are, what about... Yeah, I don't know. Here you are. Thank you. And who's next? Well, Code Academy is the kind of, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not a podcast, it's just a, it's just a segment. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably all of the really important stories. Public transit in iOS 6. Actually, a really good post on Coconetics, and this guy actually was in our studio a couple of weeks ago because he was in town for WWDCs from Austria, in which he talks about the reason why you won't see public transit directions in iOS 6 Basically, Google got screwed by doing it in maps by the Austrian transit uh, companies. There's two of them that are kind of sort of privately owned. And both of them decided to, to break the Google API saying, we've got our own apps. <laughs> so we're not going to give you public transit in the <clears throat> Google Maps. And, uh, and so uh, in this blog post, um, he's saying, and I think he's probably right, that it's just Apple's not going to do it because you can't guarantee the data will be there. And there's some good reason to think that it won't be there. So, uh, uh, well, coconetics.com uh, slash blog if you want to read that 
I think a good article. Oh, I forgot to say this another twit is, is in the can. What's wrong with me? Thank you. You guys didn't even know the show had ended. We couldn't get any applause.